Hey guys, what's going on? Saturday, March 27th. Uh, some of you probably have noticed I've been posting several video stories or photo stories on my YouTube page, and one of them featured uh, this custom I did several years ago, my cargo copter. I had a uh, old Adventure Team helicopter laying around, missing a lot of parts, and I decided one day to paint it, and I went with a nice orange, and it kind of just went on from there. I called it the cargo copter because I wanted to make a helicopter that could haul these crates here. And I don't know if you are familiar with these, but these were uh, produced and sold by the G.I. Joe Collector Club. They're based on the uh, G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figures that came with these. I think, believe the first wave came with similar crates to this, but the, the Collector Club remod remolded them and put the Adventure Team logo, and I believe they sold it with one of their... Uh, convention exclusives and then later they produced two set two uh two crate sets for sale and i bought i think i have like four maybe yeah these are these are super cool if you can find these they're probably super expensive now but i would definitely suggest getting these for your collection um some people have asked what paint i use for most of my stuff i use this rust-oleum uh, paint for plastic this isn't the exact color as the helicopter but they make an orange uh, a little bit different. This is a matte orange. When you see my Warthog custom, I will post a video on later on. That's This is the color that I used for it. But I just wanted to show you the brand of paint that I use because I've had some questions on it. Uh, basically, the helicopter, um, like I said, it's based on the Adventure Team original helicopter platform. A few things about this helicopter that make it unique. Uh, first off, this control console is glued in here. It was broken, so... You know, this whole helicopter is just piecemealed, so I glued that in. It's permanent, not that I care. I did make a pretty cool harness system for the pilot um, using Cotswold collectible parts, old, uh, I believe, sol not formative soldiers, but the World Peacekeeper belts had these nice clips. I got a bunch of those and just took them apart, and I used these as, like, seat belts. So I've produced all, or I made all this myself, so the guy gets harnessed in pretty well. It's turned out really well when I did that. Um, I got a nice rope from Third Son's Books and an anchor or a little hook. That's what I used for my uh, rope. And pardon me, I don't have the helicopter hooked up all the way, as you can see. I just don't want to mess with having to take it apart because sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Now, I will point out when you're doing the paint on the plastic, you can see this crackle here. Sometimes if you don't get all the oil off the parts you're painting or if the humidity or whatnot's not right, it can do this. Uh, I just suggest sanding it, um, trying to, to remove any oils again, and then painting it again. I had to do that a couple times with this, but that's the only blemish when I painted this thing. I do have an old capture copter part that I painted orange to, uh, in case we need to get a little heavy. As far as going into some heavy brush or whatever with cargo and I have the actual you know standard classic glass canopy now you also might have noticed that my landing skid is a little different because I made this out of uh, tube styrene it took me a long time to do had to draw it up I had to measure a lot of stuff um, let me take this tail fin off real quick and then I can kind of show you guys. Yeah, I made this. Yeah, I drew it up one day, kind of got some dimensions off the existing skid, changed it a little bit. Um, if you've noticed from the, the photo story, it's designed to sit on these in a dual array. Um, the skid's pretty easy to make. I don't have plans for you to make your own skid. Um, this is all just from the top of my head, but you can do it. You just have to take some time, watch some tutorials on how to bend tube styrene, and you can make something. But this is all put together by me. It took me about, oh, I'd say a week to do. So I made my own landing skid. I do know that Jim Edinger on his Etsy page has pretty cool retrofitted pontoons, and I might actually buy one for this helicopter and then paint it. A, a black or something and then replace the skid with it i'll keep the skid obviously but i would like to get the pontoons that jim 3d prints for these 
He sells them on eBay too. I'm sure some of you have seen them. The straps I made from uh, camouflage ribbon at Hobby Lobby. If you watch the photo story again, you know that these are designed to wrap around the crates and then they kind of just fish through here and just it all kind of locks together and you can uh, haul your cargo. Real simple design, probably not practical in the real world, but then again, with G.I. Joe, what is? The decals for the cargo copter, I made myself. I plan sometime in the future on doing a uh, cargo area, you can see. I plan on doing a um, tutorial on how I do my decals. It's pretty easy to do. Um, you got to have a little patience and you got to kind of perfect how you're doing it. But um, I cut this one out of, this one's out of vinyl. I did it myself. It's not perfect, but you know what? I don't really care. Like I said, this is my stuff. Um, so if it's cool to me, I guess that's all that really matters. These the black stripes are all painted with uh, Krylon, or I'm sorry, rest, the rest only in paint. I just taped it off and made these cool uh, stripe accents. But yeah, this is my cargo copter. So I know some of you were curious as to, you know, the paint, how I did it, what it's based on. And this is pretty much it. It just kind of, it took shape in my head. And as I started painting it, I started coming up with the concept of what I wanted. Um, I usually like to make my customs and do a photo story that goes along with them. I don't know if you've noticed that. A lot of the photo stories that I'm starting to post now to YouTube were from my old Facebook um, account. I used to have an album called Backyard Heroes when I had when I had Facebook. And I've pulled a lot of pictures off there and then some that I never even shared on Facebook and I retouched them up. So I'm starting to do a lot of different just photo stories for people featuring some of the customs I've done and also some of the products from you know, Cotswold Collectibles, Elite Brigade Line, the G.I. Joe Collector Club, Hasbro, Classic G.I. Joe Adventure Team, et cetera, et cetera. But um, this is probably the other cool, the, uh, this is probably the other more involved in one of my cooler customs next to my uh, Sasquatch hunting Jeep. These two here, um, you know, I really like these and I don't know if I'd ever really get rid of them. Maybe someday, who knows, if the mood strikes me, I might put them on eBay or something. Um, but definitely, if you're wanting to get into customization, I would really suggest starting out with a helicopter and trying to customize it. I notice a lot of people who do a lot of helicopter stuff, and they paint them different color schemes and do different arrays for the landing skid and whatnot. And, you know, it's really easy to do because the helicopter platform is a really simple platform. It's one of the better ones for the adventure team. Um, it's functional and it's easy to paint. And, um, you know, the parts are readily available. You can find most of the helicopter parts and the stuff that you can't find, you can always make, as in the case of this landing skid. And I, some of you who are familiar with the G.I. Joe Adventure Team helicopter know that this tail fin array is probably the hardest thing to find from people. You can make these out of styrene and then sheet styrene and, and tube styrene, but I would suggest trying just to find one. Even if it's broken, you can repair it or glue it all together on the tail fan. And with a nice coat of paint, nobody will ever know the difference. So I do have another custom helicopter. It's called my Command Copter. It's, uh, it's the, the yellow helicopter platform married to the pontoons from the Capture Copter. And I just did a real simple black and yellow paint scheme on it and colored or custom decals as well. I'll probably do a video on it at some point, but it's not very unique. It's definitely not as unique as this green helicopter or my, sorry, this orange helicopter. But it's still cool. Uh, if you watched my video series for the Savage Sasquatch or my photo story, I keep saying video series, sorry. If you watch my photo story for the, uh, the Sasquatch, you'll notice the command chopter, the copters in that one. Uh, so again, rehashing, this is my G.I. Joe cargo copter. This is the paint I use. I made the skid out of tube styrene. Uh, this 
The harness is made just using standard elastic heat shrink, a uh, harness from Cotswold Collectibles. Uh, this is a G.I. Joe Collector Club exclusive crate. Came in a two pack. I manufactured my straps myself using parachute clips and ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Um, the rope, as I mentioned, is from Third Sun Books. And it actually, it pops. It, it goes great with this. I had this rope I bought from him one day, and I just didn't know what to do with it. So it actually just came to me. And this, my friends, is my cargo copter. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm glad a lot of you guys have given me positive feedback on my YouTube page. I've really enjoyed doing a lot of this stuff, especially since I have some downtime now in the evenings due to the, the whatever hell's going on in this country. But... Um, I plan to do more and more videos, and I really appreciate all the comments, the likes, and subscribes. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'm, uh, I'm on there. You can find out three different pages. Toys and Brews is where I post video or, uh, photos of my various unique action figures with cool beers. I have my Skunk Works page, which is skunk underscore works. It's where I post a lot of my toy stuff, and then I have my regular personal account, uh, Jeff Shear or Jay Shear 74 where I post mainly, mainly pictures of my son. So anyways, guys, I hope you're having a good time. Um, start customizing, start buying stuff. We've got a lot of free time on our hands. So I want to see you guys make some cool stuff. Cheers. <laughs>